and we are back in business first load is perfect not too heavy not too light 64,500 pounds so basically 29.3 metric tons and you see these come really handy come in handy but over there I just use the hook towards the frame because you know the other way would be to hook up the track to here well this one but then it's too short you know it's like awkward anyway just did it like this and one thing when the guy was uh, loading <laughs> this is like christening by fire right I mean baptizing baptizing by fire so that's what the excavator did when it was crawling I don't know why it did catch the the tracks caught this on both sides you know this thing see well that's the nature of the beast and I had trouble unhooking I mean no unhooking was easy but rehooking so you see I already put a couple of scratches in there but right now I'm not even worrying about that because I know that natural because you know I, I even told the engineer I said why do you make these edges so sharp in here you know so as soon as you off a little bit you know if you are too tall like uh, what happened the ground was uh, not even so one side was up you know one side was lower one side was higher and of course this thing look how sharp it is see it's like a knife and it just starts scratching you know but I like how my uh, uh, Honda now starts you know like I don't have to do that thing with a pulley with a cord just bzing, so that they replace the battery oh you see that's what happened right that's why I need fenders on this axle I'm running with this axle down because I'm uh, what let me show you guys top secret okay don't tell anyone so my gross is one 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 eight six zero pounds just under 112,000 pounds and that's my steer my drives like that's my three axles c47 1940 and that's my trailer so everything is legal but because my drives are only rated for 46,000 pounds so if I lift this one if I lift the pusher okay I know like a thousand will go towards the front but it's still gonna be over 46 you know so I uh, even the laws here they they allow uh, uh, they allow up to 50,000 up to 50,000 for a tandem but I don't want to go above my you know manufacturer's rating and this is a small truck stop uh, if you're not that small loves this is like exit one when you go uh, north on I-77 so I just left uh, North Carolina and this is the first stop in Virginia and it's a very beautiful you know area when you don't haul a heavy load <laughs> there's like lots of hills you know uh, perfect for a tourist but with a heavy load you gotta do lots of shifting and right next to the truck stop look at this oasis right there's a ramp to the freeway over there and I'm gonna be heading north on uh, 77 oh you see that if that uh, Santa from Norway is watching so you see your your gift was uh, pretty practical so he sent me this little uh, glove kind of like that you put on, on uh, you have to cover the the exhaust the exhaust pipe otherwise allegedly you can claim you can damage the um, you can damage the turbo okay and here I went crazy now once again I realized that this thing over here that plate it blocks access to the mem cross member so I cannot like what I did before right I would hook the chain here and then hook it up to the cross member well there is a hole in there but it just it doesn't doesn't seem right you know maybe next time I'll do this one I'll do this one to here 
But then what am I gonna do with that one? Like that's, see where that thing is, right? My chains are like 10 feet, otherwise they get too heavy. So from here I couldn't do cross because of this, because of the boom. And thankful I don't have a bucket, which makes things easier. But this thing really helps, the bucket trough, I love it. See how much lower it is over there, right? I'm like under 13 feet now. Of course I measured, on, I, I climbed to the top and I measured to the ground. And then you have to tie down the boom, you know. Everything's good. My fenders are protecting my investment. Okay, I'm getting ready to, to uh, roll. Oh, and you see that they gave me another thing. They gave me this little gauge, which is pretty handy because it shows the... Um, you can calculate after a few loads because it shows PSI, so it's pressure, not pounds. But I know that 60 on, on the truck, when it's uh, fifth wheel, it's, it's like pretty close to basically 20,000 or under 20 per axle. And I know now I'm 57. You see, that's what I gotta remember. I gotta remember, so now it's what, 70, what, like 65? That's what it shows on this, right? But actually, but you know, you, you kind of learn after a while, so it does help to have this. Oh, wait, I'm 53, what? 53,000 on all the three axles. So basically, you deduct, deduct 10, I guess. Well, we'll figure it out. So it's a brand new uh, John Deere. Uh, John Deere 290G. 290G and uh, I think 290 means that it's it weighs and uh, I look at the weight, it's pretty, pretty much like 29.3 metric tons. So I think that's what they use for, uh, for the model. So, the first load, let's get rolling, Monday got to be in uh, Ontario. So, thanks for watching. Smart. 